Module 3 now. Let's go using an appropriate example describe the purpose of an operating system on a personal computer. Alright, module 3 is operating systems and networking, but they also threw in SQL inside here. So we'll see what it holds. We'll see what it holds. Using an appropriate example describe the purpose of an operating system. Our operating system is to um that's not you gotta switch gears in your head. <laughs> I know the list of things our operating system does. Like for two marks, I'm not too sure exactly what they want. Maybe they want a sentence, but okay. The operating system is to manage the hardware, software, and communication of a personal computer, ensuring they can all access each other's services to accomplish tasks accomplish tasks let's go with that and we could hit them all example drivers yeah i mean they give us a chance all right describe how a batch processing operating system works okay a batch processing operating system it um it runs yep yeah all right, using a specific memory management technique as an example, explain the importance of memory management in operating. Memory management. Ooh, brain. Come on, brain. And about process management. Why am I not remembering this? Uh, how do you manage memory? Is swapping a memory management technique. So there's virtual memory. Virtual memory gives you the ability to, if you're like me right now, and you can't remember some of the theory. Yeah, what's up? That number and you get a crash course. Well, this is hope. Um, it's just closer to exam time. Let's go closer to exam time without the crash course. Other than that, download the Learn It app and I'll have all my notes inside there that I probably have to look over. Do we have memory management techniques or process management techniques? Okay, let's that's that city memory management technique is virtual memory. All right, yeah, okay, virtual memory, virtual memory uh it uses it uses the fixed storage space on a hard on a hard drive i hope that he was asking for the explanation of virtual memory i have so, uh, strongly hope but but i really wanted to explain the importance of memory management okay I'll have to point a sentence to see why it's important. Taking that. Because it's weird. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, I want to see the answer for this question too. Alright, processes are scheduled to be run on a processor. Process A, shortest job. First request. Process B, shortest job. Last request. Process C, most important job. Second request. Explain how two different scheduling algorithms might schedule these processes to be run on a processor um okay let's just do shutting algorithm sjf shortest job was um the three processes will receive and they will run in the following order process b because that is shortest job process c because it's not, the, it's not the, the shortest one and then process A. All right, let's watch this job first. All right, next one we could use is wrong robin. Wrong robin is the one is normally is all the time. Wrong robin will go process C because of priority. Yeah. So you have short, shortest job first and then longest job first. I guess if you use longest job first, LJF, yeah, that, that would be easy to do because it'll just take the longest job first. So, the job first and longest job first don't care about any priority. Wrong Robin does care about priority, so the first one, the most important job, will interrupt the other two. Yeah. All right, so you could have put longest job first. I, would, uh, I think longest job first might be a better answer to put, but I put wrong Robin just to, I don't know, to flex. Yeah. Number six. Stay two types of transmission media and give an example of each. Um, there's wired and wireless, wired, to step here, and wireless, Bluetooth. Types of transmission media is wired and wireless, right? Yeah, I think so. Or like the transmission medium. Or maybe they're looking for copper. 
and then you're looking for fiber which will be light and then bluetooth will be radio waves yeah transmission media i think it should be copper and light yeah because the media is the actual physical way that is transfer copper light radios hey putting all that down they had to give you the mark somewhere because you know everything about transmission media there you know that is wired and wireless, wireless twisted pair and fiber, copper and light, wireless is Bluetooth because they use radio waves or Wi-Fi or infrared or anything like that. Okay. Somewhere inside here you'll get marks. So really the coolest thing about these past little videos is that I get to explain while doing a question. So a lot of you would learn things that you never saw before just by me working on the question. But sometimes I can't explain every single thing. And I don't know, you might need help explaining. So 308. 8799 WhatsApp that and find out what we have available. It might be a crash course, it might be a class. Remember, when you join my classes, all of the classes are recorded, so you'll get to see every single thing that we did from the start of the syllabus. So, if you're not sure about certain questions and you're not sure because the explanations I give in the past papers are a little too fast, then WhatsApp the number, see what we can do for you. If not, hope you enjoy the videos and hope you learn a lot while you go through these past papers and such, right? Cool. The owner network technician has been asked to set up, a, set up a network with secure access to the internet for her client's small office that has PCs, laptops, and computer printer. Draw a network diagram. Cake. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is you need to access the internet. So we have a little cloud. We call that the ISP, the Internet Service Provider. The Internet Service Provider sends the information to a modem. The modem hits a firewall. The firewall hits a router. The router hits a switch. The switch then serves everybody on the network. One is a PC. Next one is a, I promise you I'm good at drawing, a laptop. Then they have a printer and a silver printer and then a silver and um let's give them an access point also that will probably be able to connect to another laptop all right yeah yeah as you did the isp had a pass to the modem because the modem will demodulate and modulate everything and the firewall will block all the packets that are bad packets that are good make it through to the router the router sends it to the switch so that the switch will be able to distribute to wherever it needs to go the switch will send it to the pc the laptop the I'd seen now using an appropriate example explain the role of a foreign key in a relational database. This is the part I hate. They didn't ask any normalization questions, but I don't like that the database stuff got thrown into here. Because it really don't make sense to have all the database stuff. Database stuff is IT, like computer science, leave it to the, the code, coding. And especially since it's in the operating systems and networking part. But I finished complaining about that. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm done. Okay, foreign keys. IT students will chew this up. Computer science students only won't chew this up. Foreign keys allow a table to a table with the same data. <laughs> Yeah, that's it there. That's it for campsite. This is um, module three. The only question in here that I didn't like too much is the the virtual memory one. I wasn't too sure about that, but um, everything else, you know, not too bad. Yeah, yeah. This module would have been kick. Great. Thank you very much for coming to my TED Talk. Don't forget to download the Learn It app. Link in the description. Crash courses, classes, notes, everything that you want. Click the links in the description of the video. I'll see you when I work out another past paper.